As Dean, I welcome you to the 2001 Honors Convocation for the School of Arts and Humanities. Today is a day of celebration and recognition, a celebration of the achievement of our students and a recognition of their academic excellence and the hard work, dedication, and persistence their accomplishments represent. This year, our students have had to persevere in the face of extraordinary circumstances. This was a year marked by uncertainty, a year that presented students with challenges that shaped the world within and without of the classroom. Despite the unusual conditions of the past year, the students that we honor tonight not only persevered, they excelled. It is wonderful and inspiring to see all that they have accomplished in the context of those challenges. Our students' success in such times and in such an environment shines additional light on their achievements. In a normal year, faculty would be able to discuss each of these students and highlight the unique combinations of gifts, talents, and drive that every one of them possesses. It is clear that each of our awardees embody the motivation, talents, and skills that we look to develop in all of our students and well reflect the college's mission to help students cultivate their creative gifts and grow as individuals. In present circumstances, I will only be able to describe each award and to acknowledge the students honored in each category. I can say that all these awards recognize the genius of our students. That is genius in its original sense of bringing something into being. Like all accomplishments of note, the recognition tonight signals a beginning rather than an end. While this convocation celebrates our students' present and past work, their successes point to bright features of further achievement and growth. Before I go on, I want to acknowledge uh, the presence of President Marsha White. And, at, and now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Mark McLean, the Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs at the College of St. Rose. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Dean Lawrence. It's a pleasure to be here. And good evening, honorees, special guests, friends, family, and distinguished faculty. Welcome to one of the highlights of the academic year here at the College of St. Rose, the School of Arts and Humanities Honors Convocation. Traditionally, we've held this event on campus in conjunction with our accepted student day, a day where we welcome new students to campus while we celebrate our distinguished scholars. The scheduling of that event in the past has not been by chance, but it has been a way for us to underscore and recognize the importance of academic achievement for all of our students. Unfortunately, COVID has forced us to change our format but that does not diminish your achievements or our joy in celebrating your accomplishments. I'm gonna take a moment to note that if you would like to leave con a congratulatory message for one of our honorees, there is a link in the chat that will allow you to post that message and the message will be shared after the presentation. Back to the honorees. Congratulations on a job well done. You've persevered. As Dean Lawrence commented, it hasn't been a typical year, far from it. You've had many challenges, but you've overcome them. You've put in those extra study sessions. You've juggled your responsibilities. You've managed multiple assignments. You may have, um, endured uh, online instruction when it's not your favorite mode of learning, or you've enjoyed being able to meet remotely with your students, uh, fellow students and your faculty. But nonetheless, you're here and you've been success you've succeeded. Whether it was nailing that conference performance, finishing that final art project, making sure that both of those papers that were due at the same day, almost at the same time, 
got finished and handled in, handed in on time. Whether it was that final presentation or submitting your internship packet. And for some of you, we started exams today. So we are well on our way to the end of the semester, but for some, a little bit far from it. Your success is a, uh, an outward demonstration of your dedication and hard work. Many of you also engaged in extracurricular activities, athletics, taking care of family and work, supporting yourself and others while still pursuing your academic goals. Academic success doesn't always come with a prize. There is always the knowledge of knowing that you've done your job well, the confidence that you have knowing that you ace that really hard test, but it's often internal and not external. Tonight's an opportunity for us to acknowledge you with an external recognition of your hard work. Ralph Waldo Emerson has written about success. And I hope you'll excuse me, but I'd like to share his words, but at the same time, do a little bit of par paraphrasing. Emerson says, what is success? To laugh often and much. I hope you have had a chance to do that this year. To win the respect of intelligent people, your faculty, your peers, and the affection of children to earn the appreciation of honest critics. Again, your faculty, your peers, your internship supervisors, your student teaching, uh, cooperating teachers, and sometimes endure the betrayal of false friends. Success is to appreciate the beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a better place, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have relations. Thank you for sharing your talent and time with us. And we wish you continued success and all the best in your future. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McLean. So if you hold on one second, I'm gonna share my screen here. On one second. Jerry, you're on mute. Again, technology. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, read each of the names, each of the award, and I'll go back here. 
each of the awards, uh, the criteria of the award, uh, and then read each of the winners' names and pause on the winners uh, so that you can congratulate them and don't forget to write uh, messages on the message board for them. So our first award is the Outstanding Senior Award. These awards recognize graduating seniors who have at least a 3.5 GPA and who meet other criteria specified by the department in which they study. These awards are selected by the faculty. The winners of the Outstanding Senior Award are Macy Nicole Dresick, Kevin Nellis O'Brien, Griffin R. Ben Graff. Nadia Payen. Bobby Larray Valentin. Sarah Sampson. Elizabeth French. Juliana Castro John Cadena. Mariana Fedkishin. Marissa Scotty. Juliana Christina Rivelli. Danielle Picone. Emily Stiles. Diane Hammerly. And Allison DeRusso. The next award is the Artist Scholar Award. This award recognizing, recognizes a graduating art major. Equal and comparable emphasis are placed on artistic accomplishment and scholarly achievement. Art department fa faculty select the honoree. And this year's honoree is Kaylee Stern. The Biagiotti Burton Endowed Award is given to history and political science majors who are selected for their courage, honesty, and community involvement. This year's honoree is Hannah Liscom. Jack Regomeni Memorial Music Award. This award sent it to a junior guitar student who's shown the most improvement since her first year at the college. This year's Jack Fragamenti Award winner is Harsh Pingle. The next award is the Honorable Loretta A. Presca Endowed Award. This award is presented to a student who meets the following criteria. First preference is given to an undergraduate student planning to attend law school and who demonstrates outstanding academic achievement. 
second preference will be given to an undergraduate student majoring in the sciences who demonstrates outstanding academic achievement. This year's Kreska Award winner is Danielle Picon. The High Rosen Award for Excellence in Painting and Drawing. The two recipients of this award will be outstanding art students who have demonstrated a high level of skill, understanding, innovation, and insight in painting and drawing. Painting and drawing professors select the recipients. The two recipients this year are Isabella Burnett and Jude Dagnall. The Inez and Nicholas Tarkin Artist Scholar Award is presented to either one or two talented junior art majors with a 3.5 GPA or better. Selection will be made by the art faculty based on artistic and academic talents. This year's recipients are Emily Rostasil, and Maggie Burrick. Mr. Patricia Kane Writing Award in Journalism. This award is presented to a communications major. Students are invited to submit pieces of journalism that meet the following criteria. A compelling piece of accurate writing that adheres to standards of journalistic convention and foregrounds the student's ability to source a story and deliver accurate information in a timely fashion. Communications department faculty determine the award winner after reviewing the submissions. This year's winner is Sarah Michelle Clark. Sister Rita Agnes Casey CSJ Endowed Music Award is presented to a female senior music major who has demonstrated commitment to continued music studies. This year, the honoree is Marissa Scotty. Sister Rosaline Gilroy, CSJ History Political Science Award, honors the graduating senior carrying the highest cumulative GPA in the History Political Science major. This year's award winner is Isabel Rulison. The Senior Writing Award is presented to a student graduating in either May or December. The honoree is chosen, for, chosen from a group of candidates who submit three anonymous writing samples to judges from outside of the college community. The year's winner is Samantha E. Zimmerman. The Presser Undergraduate Scholar Award. This award is presented to an outstanding music student who is at or near the end of his or her junior year for use in their senior year. The awardee select, is selected on the basis of merit and achievement. This year, that awardee is Brianna Marie Moss. The Robert J. Sheehan Music Scholar Award. This award is presented to a sophomore or junior vocal or keyboard music student who, as determined by the music faculty, has exhibited outstanding dedication to the department and exceptional progress and promise in music from academic and applied performance perspectives. This year's winner is Paige Manisi. Clayton Craig Rock and Roll Rebel Annual Scholarship. 
This award is given to a junior music major who is a talented rock and roll, jazz, or blues musician with financial need and 3.5 EPA in music courses. This year's Rock and Roll Rebel is through Palrini. St. Rose of Lima, of Lima Award, four-year student. This award is presented to two graduating seniors who have maintained the highest cumulative average during their entire course of study at the college. One award is presented to a four-year student. The second is awarded is a presented to a transfer student. This year's recipient is Kevin Nellis O'Brien. Academic Achievement Class of 2022. This award recognizes outstanding students from undergraduate classes, junior, sophomore, and first year. Award recipients have received the highest cumulative GPA in their respective classes. The three winners this year are John D. Brulette. Zoe E. Oye. Grace E. Hayward. Academic Achievement, Class of 2023. This award recognizes outstanding students from undergraduate classes, junior, sophomore, and first year. Award recipients have received, have received the highest cumulative GPA in their respective classes. This year's award goes to Lily Anna. Ogazalek. So that concludes the awards that we have to give out tonight. On behalf of the College of St. Rose and the faculty and staff of the School of Arts and Humanities, I extend congratulations to all of our students on your awards and on the efforts and achievements that they represent. I wish each of you continued success as you pursue your academic and life goals. Congratulations and good night. And each of you will receive a personal certificate in the mail in the next couple of weeks and our link to leave comments and congratulations will stay open for about another half an hour if you'd like to leave a message um, for your honoree. And again, thank you for coming and Enjoy your evening.